In every national poll, when it comes to these GOP presidential contenders, Donald Trump just has a far and away lead. Based on what you saw last night, then, do you think anyone is able to break uh, through the pack and say, hey, I am a viable option that's different from Donald Trump and I can win? It's such an interesting question, Brittany. Um, I'll tell you something that that strikes me after these debates. Um, you know, a, an election like our recent elections that, that ended up as 50-50, basically. And then you go back and you poll the, the next day after a winner has been picked. And you ask, well, who did you vote for? It turns out it's 60-40. People <laughs> think they voted for the winner or want to say they voted for the winner. And it takes a little bit of, a, uh, of time basically for the media and for others that includes you and me uh we're part of the media at least in this context uh to sort it out people listen to it they watch clips and they they say well uh everybody is telling me that doug Burgum did a great job but he doesn't have a chance and uh nikki haley did a great job and she does have a chance and so maybe i'll i'll support her so it's a little hard to tell who's going to break out of the pack but strictly based on the and who will drop back in the pack that's a somewhat different question and i i just think that based on last night's performance it's really hard at this stage to tell in a week we'll all agree oh yeah uh Nikki did a great job. Ron DeSantis, nobody put a finger on him, and -and so-and-so did a bad job, and so forth. But I think until you set higher standards that put three people on the the stage uh, and really let them go, you just won't know. And we'll see higher standards for the debate, the third debate, which is November 8th in Miami. But I do want to talk about even more people who weren't on that stage last night aside from donald trump one of them being the former arkansas governor asa hutchinson he made the first debate didn't make the second debate stage neither did larry elder or will hurd neither of which or any of those people to my knowledge as i sit here right now have said they are going to drop out of this race do you think not making this debate stage is a fatal blow to their campaigns yes uh i i just don't think it, it wouldn't be fatal if they were actually rising right now. They didn't make a poll, but people were beginning to, to say, oh, I really like Will Hurd and so forth. They're not. Uh, none of these people have any momentum behind them. That's not to say that they're not substantive people. Uh, and they put their name forward and uh, they they didn't. Uh, they didn't sort of fail in the way that Kamala Harris did when she ran uh, the last time. Nobody expected uh, Larry Elder, you know, a successful talk show host, but he didn't win the governorship of California. He lost by a huge margin. Granted, it's a blue state, but uh, nobody expected him to do uh, to do very well, and and he hasn't. But Kamala Harris in the 2000 uh, sweepstakes for the Democrats was a sitting uh, senator from California, a rising star, African-American in a party that is built around identity politics. And her, uh, by the time she dropped out, which was before uh, the Iowa uh, caucuses, she was polling at zero. If it wasn't for her friends and family saying she they would vote for her, she wouldn't have had any votes at all. So that was a, a surprising, but the three you list, Asa Hutchinson, Will, Will Hurd, um, um, and any of the other, uh, Larry Elder, any of the other candidates are essentially running for cabinet positions or perhaps a local position in Arkansas or something else.